Yo guys, uh, Psychosoft here, and um, I recently hit 1k subscribers, and I really want to thank you guys for this. And as a um, little thanks, I'm making this nice tutorial on how to motion track 3D particles. So yeah, let's jump right into it. So this is what you're going to be creating. So as we see here, um, while we're going through the timeline, we see that particles are being born and uh, they have um, really different colors on it because, uh, yeah, maybe if I have time I will teach you how to do those colors, but basically I will teach you on how to motion track this 3D space and put uh, particles inside of it. So let's make a new composition. Uh, 1280 by 720 would be good. And uh, just drag in your uh, clip. So yeah. Now, if you have CS6, you can uh, motion track this tutorial, this uh, cinematic, by um, right click on it and hit track camera. But if you have uh, CX5 and under, you should need a third party plugin like um, the Foundry Camera Tracker. So, yeah, guys, um, I skipped the part where the camera tracking was analyzing uh, the cinematic so we can uh, save time. Now, when you're done, you'll see different points on this map, and basically, these points are uh, indications of where the particles are being born. Like, if I choose this point right here. The particles are will be born from this point, so I will just create a solid and camera. Delete the solid cause it's not a good solid as you can see. Just make a new one and uh, call it particular. Now just go to effect trap code particular. So as you can see the particular is there, I don't know why it's there, oh yeah, I have to shove up the Z, Z space. So just uh, open the emitter section and change it from point to box. Now here it becomes interesting because you will have to actually play with these settings, these three settings, so you can create a um, basic uh, particle system. I think thousands would be good. Like here, you see that the particles are being cut off, so you will just have to increase this. Let's see. And as you can see, the, the particles are um, moving really fast to the left, and we don't want that, so just turn up the velocity to just turn down the velocity to zero, I mean. And uh, I think just. Um, Crank up the Z space like this. Uh, yeah, the emitter size put it two thousand. And ba as I say, this is just uh, personal preferences. Um, this the these values are um, different on each map. Just see what's uh, best for you. Uh, maybe this should be 3500 5000 yeah 5000 should be good now now just go to the particle section and um, like if you play it like this you will see that those particles are just popping up and it's not really nice so first of all just increase this opacity of uh, I mean the size to 10 in my case 10 should be nice maybe 8 uh, change the randomness if you want and the uh, opacity over life now this would make it smoother I mean if you will let it like this then the particles would just pop up and that wouldn't be nice so we would choose this preset here is the third one 
so it will uh, slowly fade in and slowly fade out. And by the way, these particles are great for making uh, trailers and promos, especially if you use like those really small particles in a large amount of uh, during the time. That's a pretty cool effect. So let's see. As you can see here, it is a uh, big game in uh, more realistic. Maybe push the Z axis a bit farther away, 2000. Bring this maybe to 150. Bring up the Y axis and the X axis. Let's see now. Yeah, this looks more like it. Maybe just um, increase the size of it to 10. And um, a slightly movement would be nice. Yeah. So yeah. Now, in order to make those uh, really nice colors on it, just um, go to particular, go to the um, color of it, and push it at a slightly uh, color, light, light color. It must be a light color. I'll do it like bluish. Now, you can keyframe it like this, and then, um, yeah, just keyframe it, but I use another method. I... Um, First of all, just press this randomness uh, thing and get the value 70. And you'll see that they will have different colors. Put it on add by the way. Like this. And by adding some glow and star glow, you can make it like perfect and really nice. These are really nice effects for in cinematics. See how it brightens up and looks all happy and nice and shit. Maybe star glow, uh, ninja. Yeah, leave it. Be really nice. And uh, with a nice CC on it, it would be even more nice. Ah, not that one. Come on. Yes, see as you can see here, it really looks interesting. Maybe I put too much particles, but you can always change it. Um, I just is just for the tutorial, so I'm not um, spending much work on it and time. So yeah, and I also leave a comment in the comment section, so uh, I would know if you guys like these tutorials and I would go on with these. So if you like this tutorial, feel free to like this and motivate me so I will make more tutorials in the future. I mean I have so much creative effects I want to share with you but I really need your likes and uh, feedback to know if you guys really want it. So yeah, let's see how it looks. See, it's uh, very nice. And also, yeah, just play around with these settings. You can just make it white if you want. Yeah. And so. So, yeah, guys, I think uh, I'm finishing this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Also, if you have a question, just comment it in the on this video. I will read them. I always answer my uh, subscriber questions, especially my um, email. So yeah guys, uh, peace.